Joining us this morning, Dr. Susan Roberts, political professor at Davidson College. Dr. Roberts, uh, thank you for joining us this morning. We appreciate that. Uh, You're welcome. I, I want to talk a little bit about, we've heard just in the last, I don't know, 12 hours or so that we expect President Trump's speech to be changing from maybe attacking the left or attacking Biden's policies to more about unifying America. How do you think what happened Saturday will change the dynamics of what we expect just at the not even the election yet, just the convention over the next couple of days? Well, I think that um, Donald Trump does not like to be scripted, but to stay with this theme, he will be scripted. What do the conventioneers expect right now? It would be um, uh, it wouldn't be authentic. It would be unseemly to want uh, Trump as a fighter. But I believe the images you're going to see going forward are Trump as a fighter and Biden as frail. And I think that was signaled uh, at the, the kind of image at the um, assass assassination attempt. And I don't like to call it an incident, although it happened, it was an assassination attempt. And Dr. Roberts, it's been a tough couple of weeks for the Democrats. Do you see this incident really uniting the Republicans even more so as we get closer to November? Absolutely. I think the Republicans will be unified and the Democrats are still going to face um, a lot of questions about who the nominee should be. At this point, the few things that I've read say that this might be the incentive the Democrats need just to stay the course with Joe Biden. I'm curious. I, I feel like the the Democrats, as far as their strategy uh, between now and November m may change. But for the immediate uh, window, I know that Biden's campaign has said, hey, we're going to take down political ads that would be insensitive right now. We do wish the best uh, for Trump and his family and for the family of, of, of the life that was lost. Uh, how long do you think that window is like they've got to be sensitive for a time, but then at some point, don't you think they're going to get right back to the campaign trail and, and hitting it hard from whenever that is till November? Well, a few calls, I do. Uh, a few calls for unity will not change the political atmosphere uh, as it's been uh, escalating for the last eight, nine years. What I think is going to happen is the Democrats are going to attack Project 2025 that is very radical about dismantling agencies um, political appointees all the way down the line. And they will attack that and they will show their policies, but attack Project 2025. Also, there is an agenda uh, 47 that resembles in general terms, very general terms, Project 2025. So I'll think, I think they'll take a policy approach. And if the Republicans come up short, that's the direction the campaign will go. And we've got to look at how social media is portraying this. Mm -hmm. And there are already calls about um, what was fake and uh, the left was behind this. So I think that that's still going to be uh, a discussion of what's going on. It just won't involve um, Trump's attempted, uh, the attempted assassination on President Trump. And Dr. Roberts, we've talked about this with, with you on the show before. The political climate really is, is toxic right now. Was Saturday's incident a tipping point? Will things cool down? Will it ramp back up? What's going to happen? I personally think it will ramp back up, and I think other scholars would as too. There's typically what we know as a convention bounce. So there will be um, a four-point uh, bounce in the polls for the Republicans just by virtue of the fact that it's a convention. Will that last? How large will the, the lead be? And how is this reflected in the voters? Look at it from the bottom up instead of simply from the top down. Do you think that what happened could change those the middle voters, those that are independents, those moderate Democrats? Do you think some of these images that you were talking about of Trump and, and him uh, appearing as uh, a, a hero coming off the floor, do you think that will affect those, those middle of the road voters that aren't quite sure where, where they want to vote? Um, no, I don't think it will. And I don't think it will really move the, the independents or undecided voters. I think it will mobilize the base and turnout determines elections. Mm -hmm. And if that's the case, uh, this is a decided advantage for um, Donald Trump. 